Hey guys, Happy New Year. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lisa. Uh, my husband and I have a channel, Thrifting and Thriving, where we go out and buy things that are uh, pre-owned and pre-loved and um, try and make a profit off of it by selling it online. And today, I just wanted to wish everybody a Happy New Year and to kind of go over some of the things that we're doing. Um, oh, by the way, this is our... Um, second building they did deliver us our new building and this one has issues as well <laughs> so god bless anybody that buys one of these uh, storage buildings because they have major issues and they're a lot of money this particular one cost us about 25 grand and that's why i'm being extremely picky um had i wanted my husband to go and fix all the um the things that are wrong with it he could have just built it himself i was we were trying to do it and pay the money just so that my husband didn't have to take the time at his busy schedule to try and build something but we're going to give them a chance see what they can do and um see if, you know see if this building's going to be any better but we'll have to wait and see there are some issues still like i said it's uh I guess the uh, boards on the outside of the building, they don't meet up and when it rains and gets wet, all the water comes inside. And I guess that wouldn't be an issue if, um, if you put the, um, caught, uh, the sealant in between, sorry, I'm having a moment, <laughs> uh, putting the um, seal in between the joints, then maybe they wouldn't, they wouldn't leak, but right now it's still leaking, so. I'm uh, waiting for them to come back and um, make the repairs, but I didn't want to deal with them around Christmas, so basically uh, that's why it still looks the way it does in here. But yeah, this is a uh, moved our inventory in here, some of the inventory. The other uh, inventory we had in here from the um, storage unit is in my trailer. For right now, I'm going to go through that. I'm going to have a yard sale and see how I do with it doing yard sales versus putting everything up online. Um, yeah, okay, so here you go. And here, here is the cabin, Freedom Cabin. And I don't know if I told you, it's a 16 by 40, which by the way, I don't think the, we were going to do the 14, uh, 14 by 40 and my husband's like no I might as well just do the 16 by 40 but to be honest with you it was to me it wasn't worth the extra money um, okay yeah that's my listed inventory so let's just go over some of the stuff I I sold this weekend this is a Tommy Hilfiger uh, leather uh, handbag that sold I will pop in all of the prices um, after the video so that I don't have to keep going back and forth uh, yeah, I'll do that for you guys. And this is a um, to uh, tank top blouse, which I'm happy to get rid of. This is one of my very old still <laughs> inventories. Uh, so yeah, that's sold. This is another thing that was old inventory that I just marked down to almost giving it away just to get it out. Um, and then this is a needle point. I think I only sold one, but I'm not sure. So I pulled both of them. Um, but yeah, so these are like little needle points. They're like uh, makeup bags or pencil case, whatever. Um, this here, guys, I don't know if you guys ever seen this in the wild, um, but this actually came out of the storage unit that we paid $10 for, guys. And it's uh, Dr. Uh, Wexler, MD. It's um, a whole thing for like uh, puffy eyes and I don't know, all this, all this stuff. And, um, this little thing, this little case here with the little, I don't know, to me they're like sample sizes, but because I guess this doctor doesn't make it anymore, um, it's very sought after. And I actually sold this for like $75, guys. No lie. It's pretty good sale right there. Then I have these um, Florida Gator, they're coaster sets. Yeah, you know that I pretty much gave away too because it has some, you know, scuff marks on this top one. And so, yep, sold that. Sold this coach bag. And this was uh, a good sale as well. And then last but not least is, uh, are these Ugg boots. 
these I just got recently and sold these so yeah not that many sales but to be honest with you I haven't been listing as much because of everything going on with the um, with the cabin and everything so I'm not gonna complain I did make some sales and you know throughout the holiday and whatever and being that I'm not listing I'm not gonna complain <laughs> so that's uh, and this is a uh, yeah and then we got our little loft areas or whatever that's gonna come in very handy I mean I just love this the the, the look of this cabin but uh, no, I think because of the size and transporting it, there's just major issues with these buildings. So, but hopefully they can get this fixed so I can get my reselling business back up and running and get it, you know, get the listings up that I need to. Because right now it's a struggle. It's like I have my little setup here, but it's when you got to constantly keep moving everything because we're going to eventually have to move all this stuff out so that they can make the repairs. So. It's just one thing after another, guys, but I feel blessed to even have this building, so I'm going to find the silver lining, right, guys? Um, okay, so that's it. I just wanted to uh, touch base with everybody, wish everybody a happy new year, and kind of see what everybody else's goals are for the new year. Mine is to get my listings up, uh, minimum five, at least five a day. Um, I was doing 20 before all of this, so <laughs> just five I can't come if I can just get five up I would be happy right now um yeah that's that and then uh, to let you guys know that we are going to the uh trash trash to cash or trash for cash um in Orlando on January 18th and I'm really looking forward to that because it's just been this past year has just been a real a real thing for us this year so this past year so it's going to be so nice to be able to you know, meet up with like-minded people and um, kind of go over what everybody, you know, find out what everybody else is doing to get through um, tough times and how, you know, how they're doing their listings and everything. That's what I'm hoping to get from it, to just see how everybody else is adjusting to everything with the lack of sales on eBay and everything and what, the, what they're doing. I just uh, stopped all my promoted listings. Um, I think my store is still on sale, um, but yeah, I'm going to really evaluate everything and see where it's best, where my time is best spent, because I'll be honest with you guys, most of my sales come from Poshmark, and I sell 99% hard goods, <laughs> so eBay, eBay better, you know, step up their, step up their game, <laughs> otherwise, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be leaving, and, you know, if they're not on whatnot, they're going to be, um, you know going to another platform so but you know like i said we just have to find that silver lining and just keep plugging along um all right guys well happy new year thanks for watching and if you like this kind of content please hit the like button subscribe to our channel we're going to try and put up more um more content as soon as possible uh it's just hard it's tough when you know like i said everything's all of our inventory is getting moved and whatnot but um yeah so we'll put up a video as soon you know as as soon as we can and uh thanks for joining us today bye bye